Hi guys, welcome back to another hair product review on this channel and thanks for tuning in again. In today's video I'm going to talk about three different products by a brand called Seven Potions. They are from the UK and they have asked me if I would be willing to shoot a video review of their hairstyling products. I've also done a video in German as well, so if you want to check that out and see me talk in German, I've linked it in the description box down below. But today I'm going to talk about the hairstyling pomade, the hairstyling clay, as well as the salt texturizing spray. And I think these products are great, first off, because they are really easy to apply, really easy to style with and really easy to wash out. But they also provide a very nice texture and a finish that I really dig, but we will get to that in a minute. First off, the products are free from parabens, PEGs, silicones, colorants and synthetic fragrances. They are also cruelty free, so not tested on animals and vegan friendly and they are produced in the UK, so made in England. To be honest, the salt texturizing spray to me was the least impressive products of them all, probably because there is only so much that a sea salt spray can do. There are definitely some differences if you compare more expensive or more premium uh, sea salt sprays to say drugstore grades sea salt sprays. They just last way longer, provide way more texture and a nicer hold and feel. This one is really nice. The hair won't be crunchy or anything and it's great to build volume, but that's about everything I can say about this. So I'm just going to put it aside for now. Hairstyling pomade and hairstyling clay are quite similar products in terms of the scoop out and in terms of the application. Both are water soluble, both have a high hold and the pomade of course has a high shine and the styling clay has a matte finish. The pomade to me had a tad bit more shine even when it was in the jar. It was also a little bit creamier than the clay. The clay on the other hand is a little bit thicker. I would say that it also gives you a little bit more resistance when you apply it to your hair but both products don't give you any serious tuck or pull or any serious stickiness so they are very, very easy to apply. The scent, by the way, is a soft green citrusy scent. It's not too sweet, but definitely on the fruity side of things. And also it will basically only be noticeable if you open up the jar. As soon as the product hits your hair, you will lose the scent and it's it will basically be gone. As I said in the beginning, the one thing I really liked about both products is the finish that each product provides to your hairstyle. With the matte clay, I would say that it's basically more of a hair cream type finish and it's definitely a product that will give you different results if you use different amounts. So for example, if you were to use this as a pre-styling product, you would be left with a almost non-noticeable type of finish, a very natural and freshly blow-dried finish. Also, if you don't use it as a pre-styler and just apply it on dry hair. But then if you start to use more, and maybe use a little bit as a post-styler or just add more product to your hair, you will definitely get some of that typical clay type texture. But except for that, if you use little amounts of it, it will definitely feel like a matte cream and not too much like a hair clay. And I think it's probably a very good product if you have fine hair. The pomade on the other hand is also a very interesting one because it's super non-greasy and super non-sticky. It's a water-based product, which means that it washes out like nothing. And it's also not a gel type, which means that it doesn't harden, but it also will not make your hair greasy or sticky, which is an issue that I typically come across with any type of pomade. So usually when using a pomade, I go for a slick and neat hairstyle because everything else looks quite unkempt. If I style it with my fingers, it's, it just looks like I haven't showered for a couple of days, even if it's an unorthodox water-based pomade. But this one somehow is different. So it's not sticky, it's not greasy, and you can definitely use it to pull off some loose hairstyles. And its behavior is kind of similar to the clay because you can also use different amounts to get different results. If you use a little bit, you can pull off a texturized medium silky shine 
finish uh, hairstyle that is quite loose and if you use a lot the hold will improve and you will be able to shape your hair in a very traditional pompadour type way. Both are denoted as having a high hold and I can say from my experience that for me it was more of a medium hold because I have very very dense hair and my hair is quite heavy on my head. I don't get it thinned and it's just a lot of hair so I think that it probably has a medium hold for people with hair like mine. But overall, although they don't have the highest hold, I can definitely give you my honest recommendation on both of them. They are very easy to apply, they are super easy to wash out, they give you a very nice finish as you were able to see in the shots that I put into this video. And you can also get different results if you use different amounts of products and also for example as a pre-styler or as a post-styler and so on and so on. So they are super versatile, easy to use products that I like to use on a regular basis. If you want to check them out, I have linked every necessary thing of information in the description box down below. Jesus, what a sentence. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, you're of course also free to do that. If you like this video, leave me a thumbs up or drop a comment in the comment section down below if you want to know more about these products. And I can say thank you very much to Seven Potions for hooking me up with these products and for this type of video that I shot. So thanks for making this possible and I will see you guys next time for another one of these. Thanks for watching guys, I will see you next time and bye bye.